What's going on guys, Tosker here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use and set up a project template. Uh, and You can do this with any type of project, but for this example I'm going to use a WPF project. Now normally when you create a project, uh, you'll just go to File, New, and Project. Now the problem is sometimes when I create WPF applications, I I'm often copy and pasting old code into a new application for basic features and implementations such as property changes or uh, relay commands. So sometimes I already want that in my project to begin with and I also want folders set up that I normally use. Well in here I actually have a basic WPF app template that I made and I also have some other here for uh, a simple WPF core I made. But anyways, uh, so what we'll do is we'll simply select our template here and I'll call this template app. Uh, testing and we'll simply hit OK. Now you'll see uh, immediately over here in the Solution Explorer uh, the project is created with uh, a utility folder that I have of things such as an observable object which we've done in past videos. Uh, we also have the relay command which we've done in past videos as well. So I already have this code imported in my project on its own. So basically it's a normal project just with a few things added so I don't have to always copy and paste or rewrite code uh, for things that I commonly use. So now we're going to show you how to actually create this template and it's pretty simple. Okay, so basically now I've created a new project, it's completely empty. Uh, so we're gonna wanna first set up our project like we normally would, so I'm gonna create some folders here. So now we have all four folders here and now we want to actually implement maybe some utilities such as the property changing or the relay command so I'll add those in as well. So here we're going to create an observable object class and I'm going to simply copy and paste a snippet I have here. Of course add in our using statements. And now we have in our utility over here an observable object. And for the sake of simplicity and keeping this video short, I'm going to show you now how to make this into a template. But you can feel free to add in more or do whatever you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Project. And we're going to go down to Export Template. Click that and of course we'll, make any, uh, we'll save any changes that we've made. And we'll have Project Template here ticked and of course we want to select our project here which is our basic template and next we can give it a name I'll keep it basic template and we'll give it a description of a simple property change template and if you want you could give it an image if you want or not uh, in this case we won't and then I'll simply hit finish and we'll see here that uh, it'll open up our, uh, or, uh, our window explorer and show us our exported templates and we'll see here our basic template. Now you could also unzip this if you wanted to make some name changes or whatever but we'll just keep it as is. Now if we want to create a new project one thing I've noticed at least is you do have to restart Visual Studio for these templates to be reloaded when you want to create a new project so now we're going to go ahead and do that. So now that we've restarted Visual Studio, uh, we want to go over here to File, New, Project. And now here in our Visual C Sharp, it might be in a different section depending on what you're using for your, uh, the example I'm using may be different than what you're actually doing, but find the appropriate section. And as you scroll down, you should be able to find your template. This is the default icon here, um, as you see with my other ones. Uh, in this case I did use a new icon but we'll use our basic template and we'll call this new project from template and we'll simply hit OK and now of course we see our new project here with our utility class and our observable object that we created and you also notice here that uh, the namespaces and everything are all created from the template so it's pretty easy just to reuse everything without any naming uh, issues and we see now that we just have a basic application all set up and ready to go and we don't have to rewrite or redo things that we do a million times every time we create a new application 
So guys, that's really it. It's just a quick little video. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't found out about this sooner. I actually uh, learned about it through uh, one of you guys who watch my videos, because um, I talk to a lot of you or you guys who email me. Uh, somebody brought this up and I actually really love it and I decided to make a video on it to share it with everybody else. So if you want to read more about templates or other things you can do, I'll leave a link in the video description so you can learn a little more and research on your own. Um, but I hope this helped. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, dislike if you hated it. Uh, I'm trying to do quicker videos, so uh, let me know if you like this or if you would have liked me to go a little slower and in more detail. I'm having complaints on both sides of moving too fast or moving too slow, so just trying to get the feel of what everybody's comfortable with.